Have you guys ever heard the term double displacement reaction before? If not, through this experiment, it is time for you to learn that. So in this experiment, we will be needing three test tubes, one test tube stand, a little bit of barium chloride salt. Let's put some of barium chloride in our test tube. Next we will be taking sodium sulphate solution and we will be adding some of it in the other test tube. Since both the salts are now added, let us add some water to each of the test tubes. Let's add about 5 ml of water in each of the test tubes. It's 2 ml, another 2, another 1 to go. Let's add another 5 ml here as well. So water has been added to both the test tubes and now it's time for us to shake them. So this is our barium chloride solution and this is our sodium sulphate solution. Next what we are going to do is that we are going to put the sodium sulphate solution into the barium chloride solution. So it's turned completely white now. It's time for us to shake it for some time. Let's use a dropper to shake it. So this is properly mixed. It's now time for us to see what is formed as the end product of the reaction. For that we'll have to wait for some time and remove the excess water from this and add a few drops of dilute sulfuric acid to see what's being formed as a precipitate in the reaction. Let's just wait for two minutes now. So after having waited for some time, let us now remove the excess water from this and add a few drops of dilute sulfuric acid to see the precipitate. So that is what the third test tube was for so that it could store the extra water which we would remove from this. I think it's all out now. It's time for us to add a few drops of dilute sulfuric acid into this solution. So here is our dilute sulfuric acid. Let's carefully remove it. Let's put a few drops. Let's shake this. So as you can see, the solution is white, but there is an insoluble white precipitate which is formed, which is that of barium sulphate. So in this reaction, what has happened is you had sodium sulphate plus barium chloride. The chloride ions in the barium chloride was replaced by the sulphate ions and the sulphate ions in the sodium sulphate were replaced by the chloride ions. So there are two salts which are formed in this reaction. One is the insoluble barium sulphate precipitate. The other is the common salt or our table salt, which is known as the sodium chloride. So here in this reaction, two ions were displaced and that is why it is known as a double displacement reaction. Thank you so much for watching.